everyone welcome to patty's polish corner and today i'm doing an easter design so sorry they're so late it's, oh my gosh can't even believe easter's next week so um anyways this design is inspired by peeps i i do i like those little sugary marshmallow peeps <laughs> They're so awesome. And I think the little bunny ones are so cute. I just love the bunny look. But anyways, so uh, let's get into the video and let me show you what I have for you today. I have a lot of things here I'm going to be using. So for wave gel, I'm going to be using Snow Ice, Pink Panther, Maiden of Grape, Mulberry, Capricious Island, the top and base coat. Don't forget, I have a 10% off discount code in the description box below. Now, these uh, glitters I got at Joint Fabrics in the kids section. So from those glitters, I'm going to use um, these colors. And um, I bought these little container thingies at Walmart. I've got my Black Bundle Monster Stamping Ink and Monocle Stamper and Scraper. And I've got the Uber Chic Yay Spring Plate. Okay, right now I've got two coats of all the colors on my nails and the base coat. Um, still tacky layer, no top coat yet because I'm going to be putting the glitters into the tacky layer. It's going to be such a mess. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe I'm doing this because I, I actually hate loose glitter with a passion. So you guys are special because I'm doing this for you. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to hopefully unscrew this without messing up my nails. Hang on. These weren't the greatest things to be putting glitter in. Yuck. Okay whatever live and learn okay so now got some glitter and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick it up with the brush and i'm going to pat it into the sticky layer now this is just like this I bought this glitter before I knew anything about glitter, so it's just like inexpensive craft glitter. Huh. Okay, not bad. Okay, I think that guy looks good. Okay, let's put that aside. I don't have any peach glitter. And I don't have any yellow nail polish. <laughs> so I'm not sure what this is going to look like here. I'm going to try to get this in frame so I'm not making a huge mess. Hang on a second. Everybody's kind of unscrewed, so. Okay, so we're going to put this yellow glitter on the peach. Huh. Don't look too bad. These look like peeps. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Kind of look like marshmallow peeps to me. Okay, not bad. Not quite as big of a mess as I thought this would be. Let's see. Are we still in a frame? Yep. Good. Okay. 
I was at one point thinking about dipping my whole finger in there, and then I I, I thought I'd better not do that. <laughs> I was thinking I'll probably never get the glitter off of my fingers. Uh, so this, so then I thought of this. I was trying to think of something. I almost put like a latex barrier around it and then dip my whole finger in there, but I thought that just sounds like not a good idea. <laughs> so. I remember it all. I can just apply it with these little brushes. There. All right. This looks amazing. Okay, now I'm going to um, top coat the heck out of it. So I'm going to go get an old bottle of top coat so that um, the glitter <laughs> doesn't get all over my good top coat. So I'll be right back. I'm back. So I really like how this looks. So I'm just using the um, wipe gel. No wipe. I mean, it's not a no wipe top coat. So I will have to remove a sticky layer when I'm done. Um, this is like an old thing. I'll just mark it glitter on it. Maybe I'll just like put kind of like a big dollop on there. Oh, I wonder if this is kind of empty. Okay. Definitely wiping the brush off on the paper towel. Before I stick it back in the bottle. Right, I'm just going to do the rest off camera and then um, cure it and come back. Okay, so here we go. Um, top coated, cured. I'm going to put my no clean top coat on um, because I want I, I want a thick top coat because I want to do some stamping on it. So um, not much stamping, just a little. So I'm going to put this on over. I'm hoping that'll just smooth out the glitter then and I'll have a nice surface to stamp on. Again, I'm making sure there's no glitter, <laughs> no stray glitters on my brush before I stick it in my good uh, top coat or else I'll be buying another top coat. Well, maybe I should buy another top coat anyway. <laughs> Before they go off sale or something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to do that to the rest of my nails. Everything's looking good. And then we'll come back and we will do some stamping. Now we're going to do something relatively new to me. <sighs> we're going to stamp this little bunny here and I'm going to color him like a decal with the um, regular lacquer white that came with my wave gel. So let's see how this turns out. I hope I don't have to do this like a thousand times. <laughs> I just hope this is going to work right the first time. I'm only going to make two bunnies, um, so that, that might be a good thing. So let's see what we come up with. I'm going to scrape it. I do it really carefully so I don't get like a ton of extra on my uh, pad here. Huh. It didn't come out. I'm actually going to try this um, this queen black that came in my Walmart stamping kit. Let's see what we get here. Perfect. Okay, that looks good. Now we're just gonna get rid of this big black thing. Okay, so I got my bunny here. Got a little bit of the white on some tin foil here, and I've got a dotting tool, and I am just going to dab it right on there. Let's 
some more weights. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little bunny right here and hope he sticks. Oh, he did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's completely amazing. Um, what I did was I put a little bit of um, the tacky um, gel top coat on there and then I cured it for... 10 seconds and uh, so that it would be tacky and would stick my little bunny to it. So that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I see some little white around his ears. So I have some acetone here and my little cleanup thing pen. So it didn't look like his eyeballs didn't come out so well. So I'll just go put some Two little black dots for some eyeballs. Fix his little eyeballs. There, looks good. And I think that's what I'm just going to do. <laughs> okay, so now I have my alcohol right here. Oops, little paintbrush. Okay, so I've got some alcohol. I better cure his eyeballs before they spread. Okay, so I've got some alcohol here and a little bit of the pink mulberry. And I'm just going to dip this brush into the mulberry okay, and get it a little pink so that I can add some pink on his nose. And some pink in the center of his ears. There. Okay, so now I am going to cure him and then we'll come right back. I got a little bit of pink here, so I'm just going to wipe that up with some alcohol. There we go. It's gone. Yeah, I like how he looks. I was going to try for two bunnies, but oh, this one bunny was quite enough for me today. When the stamping is nice and dry, then I'm going to put a coat of no wipe top coat on him. Just gonna glide that on so I don't end up ruining my poor little bunny. And I'm gonna cure that and I'll be right back. Okay, I think these came out pretty good. I think they look exactly like peeps. I'm not sure the camera's picking up this white one but the other ones look great even this one doesn't look like it's really yellow on top of the orange I think it looks really good so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're not one of my subscribers please subscribe and thank you for watching bye for now